What's going on guys? So I got another unboxing video again today. I'm only getting one snake, but she's an absolute powerhouse. What's up guys? It's Baker. Welcome back to Blue Line Morphs. Uh, if you're turning to the channel, I greatly appreciate it. You're sitting through all my shameless plugs, but here's my shameless plug. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, give me a thumbs up. I'm um, really enjoying making the content. We're slowly moving along. I am a new ball python breeding channel. I'm a new ball python breeder. Um, we're over a thousand subscribers now. We're doing really well. I really, really appreciate it, guys. I post every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturdays. I try to go live once a week just to talk talk about things. Um, topics and questions to be answered stuff like that and i get the questions from my instagram account instagram account blue underscore line underscore morphs hit me up on hit me up on there I'm all tongue-tied hit me up on there uh dm me on there it's more like a personal page at this point uh, i also have a facebook page with blue line morphs definitely follow and like me on all those pages I'm trying to get the facebook page up uh instagram's moving along really really well i greatly appreciate it um everything's doing great guys uh, i picked up another snake today uh, you're gonna meet her in a second she's Amazing. I got it from Royal Canadian Reptiles. Will over Royal Canadian Reptiles. Absolute gentleman. I'll give you my full review on him in a second. Um, so all in all, you guys know I've been buying snakes left and right. And I'm slowly building my uh, collection up to get my breeding projects ready. I've explained my breeding projects to you guys. I kind of want to have two lines of each gene I'm working with. Like bottom end ball, uh, pie balls and like top end. And like bottom end clowns, top end. And I was looking for that third gene I really wanted to work with. Um, my buddy Rob from Race of Reptiles, go check him out. Um, he works with Desert Ghost. He loves Desert Ghost. And while he was living me up here, I fell in love with Desert Ghost. But, you know, I kind of want to build a collection further. And because I'm going to be friends with Rob pretty much for the rest of my life, um, I'm going to have access to great Desert Ghost genes. So I'm going to let him do his thing with the Desert Ghost and eventually purchase or pick up some Desert Ghost from him or swap them out for the things that I want. Uh, with that being said, I decided to get in a puzzle gene. And the reason being is I really like it. It's really that simple. I remember coming across puzzle um, probably two, three months ago. And I just saw it. I was like, oh, why well, they call it puzzle? And I looked at it. I was like, oh, they call it puzzle because it looks like a puzzle. Um, it's absolutely amazing, especially when you start adding different genes on top of it. So I'm going to show you the first girl. Oh, let me explain how, why I started going with Hets. So I made a video talking about how I prefer visuals over Hets. Um, especially in the lower end type recessive genes like pie balls. You can buy a pie ball visual for like 400 bucks, right? There's a normal pie. Why buy a het normal, all right? doesn't make sense to me. But when it comes to more expensive recessive genes like puzzle where you have an order normal male puzzles like two grand or 1800 bucks, whatever the case may be, maybe it starts to make more sense. So when I was building my, um, when I was building my, my, my puzzle goal or I was putting together the pieces of how I wanted to build my puzzle gene projects, uh, I had a long conversation with Mike from Porter Python. Check him out. Uh, Mike's uh, not going to give away what he does for a living, but he was driving in and out of work, and he called me when I was working. I, I talked to him probably two or three times a week. We have like an hour-long conversation. I'm pretty much just keeping him busy during his ride in. Anyway, I was talking about how I wanted to get into puzzle and how I was, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy like two, like three visual puzzle girls. And he was like, Bake, listen. He's like, you have, you can purchase Puzzle, visual puzzle growth, but what's available on the market right now, right? You have like pastel, I've seen there's a calico on there, or a fire. You have like these one gene, a one, one gene combo puzzle visual girls for sale. And he's like, that's great. You're going to produce all visuals once you start producing them, but you're putting yourself behind the game because when you start producing the visuals with all those visuals, they're going to be one gene combo uh, puzzle snakes, right? You're not going to get the multiple gene combos that I'm looking for. So I'm setting myself back a whole generation of snakes. He's like, you know, I know you don't like it. But if you start purchasing hets, hets with two or three codons on top of the het puzzle, then get a visual puzzle mail. When you start producing them, even though you may only produce half visuals, right? So let's say I had I had let's say I had two females that were visuals and a visual male. I produced twelve eggs. I get twelve puzzles. But my two females were like passed down calico, and let's say he was whatever. He was one other co codon. The best I can come up with is a two gene combo snake, right? If I actually hit it, cool. But if I have uh, different hets that are powerhouses that have two or three, maybe four genes on top of the het puzzle, when I hit these genes, I'll, I, maybe I'll only produce two or three visuals, but those two or three visuals may be absolute powerhouses. There's a chance I produce no visuals, and there's a chance I produce just normal puzzles. I get that. But by buying hets with all these codons on top of it, I'm actually increasing my odds of having more 
uh, more better, better uh, snakes in the future, especially with the visual puzzles, if that makes sense to you guys. So I'm gonna show you the first girl I, I, I first girl I got. Um, that was Het Puzzle. She's in her hide. So she is Het Puzzle. Now both these girls that I got, the one that's in the box right there, um, and this girl, both about 300 grams. So obviously not this season, but next season, the 2022 season, they'll be ready to go. She's an Orange Dream Lesser, 100% Het Puzzle. She's sitting about 350 grams, I think, 340 grams. She's amazing, I like her. So she got those two codons on top of the Het Puzzle. So with just her, I have Orange Dream and Lesser in there. Um, yeah, right here. She's gorgeous, right? I like her a lot. All right, so with that being said, that's my first Het Puzzle girl. This is my second. Let me move my African sulfurs over because they're like my table. Uh, they're doing really well, by the way. They haven't eaten each other, which is a fucking plus. Um, although I do have leftover feeders in this tank. I hear random squeaking at night sometimes. So I don't know if they're playing or they're eating each other. I don't know, but there's no blood. So we're doing all right. I'm actually getting um, some breeder tanks from Claire over there, Medusa's Lair. Check her out if you need rats on Long Island. I keep plugging her and I keep losing my rats because everyone's buying rats from her but me. Um, yeah, that being said, a couple other accounts. Check out Souls Balls. Check out Redline Python. Check out all of them, okay? So this snake is already opened. I already checked her out. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw the channel. You saw me channel. You saw me hold her up, right? I was driving the BQE. I got a bunch of message how I should be driving and, and videotaping and you know whatever. I'm a cop, so fuck you guys. So I picked her up. I saw her online uh, from Royal Rep Royal Canadian Reptiles, and I immediately inquired. Uh, the guy Will uh, was an absolute gentleman. I mean, I mean. What I notice is these big time breeders, they're big time because they, they're they good at everything, right? They have the great snakes, the great facilities, they have the social media, and they have the customer service. Customer service is paramount, right? If you guys are gonna start breeding, you need to have good customer service, and that's something I'm gonna try to uh, pride myself on. That's why daily I always go, even though I, I haven't produced any snakes, I, don't, I really don't know what I'm doing, but I, I go through every time I get a DM or every time I get a comment, I try to answer back because I wanna be that person. Um, you know, the, the guy I got the Orange Dream Fire, uh, breed ready female at center to Brooklyn uh, when I asked him not to it was kind of a dick afterwards um, yeah I never do business with him again right no matter what he has with that being said I actually got her shipped to the hub in Brooklyn because it's easier for me than going into work late or requesting a day off and getting made fun of by my sergeant for always asking days off to go hang out with snakes so I left for work an hour early shot over to the Brooklyn hub over there near Red Hook and I picked her up so again, this is this girl. She's about the same size uh, as the other het girl. I'm actually going the wall, but she is. Let me move this out of the way. Now I'll tell you right now, the pictures did not do her justice, guys. Oh, don't do this to me. She is oh, come out. She was so I had her out while I was driving on my hand like this, and she was like completely out. But now she's being shy. Don't be camera shy, mama. So here she is. She, look at this snake, guys. Look at that snake. Orange dream, yellow belly. Pastel spider, 100% hit puzzle. All right, look how look at the white there. Can you see? Can I see. Look at the white. Right, this is the glare. This is all white along her belly right here from the spider. Right, and the pastel sticking out. Look at that. Look at the yellow and the white just sticking through. The pattern on her. I mean, realistically, I think she lasted so long and didn't get sold because uh, it has, she has a spider gene. She has almost no wobble at all. Um, I haven't noticed anything actually. And she's actually gorgeous to me. Now, not a lot of people stay away from that uh, puzzle gene, from that spider gene. For me, I love the spider gene. You guys know that I got that that new spider girl down here. Where is she? She's a little feisty. Hope they don't get tagged by her. No, no, you're not getting fed. No, she's hissing at me. I got my old spider girl right here. Okay, she's about. I weighed her last night. She's 1,600 grams, so she'll be ready to go. Uh, next season, hope we get 2,000 grams. Anyway, back to the puzzle girl. Here she is, my orange dream, yellow belly, pastel, spider, 100% het puzzle from Royal Canadian Reptiles up there in Canada. She's amazing, guys. Look at look how nice this snake is, right? I think she's absolutely gorgeous, and I can't wait to get her moving. So this is my next puzzle girl. Uh, in the future, well, I can't get enough of this snake, right? I don't know if it's doing her justice, but I'm doing a little... Uh, 
slideshow with her soon or a little photo shoot, but she's amazing. I get some better pictures, but I really like what Puzzle and Spider does. Who tell that little that what really breaks that pattern down real nice and has that that thin little. I've seen a couple of them has that thin little like dorsal from the spider mixed with that puzzle. How it kind of breaks it up. I love it. So I think people stayed away from it because she has spider in her, like I said before. But ultimately, that orange dream, yellow belly, pastel combo, those codons on top of the head puzzle, I couldn't stay away from. I can't believe nobody bought her. Um, I'm a stack, nobody bought her. But so far, for my puzzle project, guys, that one's got orange dream in it also. I get that. But I got orange dream, lesser, pastel, yellow belly, spider, all on top of my head puzzles. So my next plan is probably to buy another head puzzle girl with more codons on top of her. Some that I don't have, you know, see if I can get some Enchi in there and we'll see what we can do. Uh, maybe some Leopard. I don't know how Leopard will do a puzzle or Enchi would do a puzzle. I'm not entirely sure. I have to talk to some of these big time breeders. I don't know if it'll completely just totally get lost in there. But that's my plan is to get one more uh, Het Puzzle Girl. I'll probably get just a normal Het Puzzle also. So I'll have four Het Puzzle Girls. Then eventually what I want to do is I want to get um, a visual Het Puzzle, a visual Het Puzzle, a visual Puzzle male with another Codom or two Codoms on top of him to bring back these girls in two seasons. But here they are, guys. There's my two, uh, my two Het Puzzle Girls. Oh, she just tagged me. That's great. Here they are. About the same size, right? We got the Orange Dream, Lesser, 100% Het Puzzle. We got the OD, Orange Dream, Yellow Belly, Pastel. Spider, 100% head puzzle. My puzzle project so far, guys. We're working. We're moving. We're making progress. Listen, as always, guys. Sorry. As always, guys, listen, I greatly appreciate it. We're going to keep the content coming. Thank you. Be safe. Always remember, watch your six.